Hello and welcome back to another FIFA 22 video. Today's video is who to take from level 15 for season 6, so let's get into it. The first level 15 player is Paul Launch. I do apologise if that's not how it's pronounced. Do let me know if that is genuinely how it's pronounced. He has medium high work rates, 3 star skill moves and a 3 star weak foot. And if I was to take this card, I would apply a Shadow Chem style. So starting off with the pros for this launch card, I would have to say his 87 pace. Now I think that's actually very good for a CDM. Then he has 91 agility and 99 balance, which obviously means that he should be very agile, especially as he is 5'7". 89 composure is also very good. His defending is decent and so are his physicals. And then he also has medium high work rates which is very good for a holding midfielder. And onto the cons of this launch card. I'd have to say his shooting with his highest stat being 78. I mean it's just very poor. 74 passing. Even though he's a CDM, I would still expect him to be able to actually pass the ball. He has the average body type, which usually isn't a very good thing, especially as he's 5'7". And then finally, his 3-star weak foot. If you're going to be giving us an 86 rated card, at least give us a 5-star weak foot and 4-star skill moves at this stage of the game. We are moving into team of the season. And this card is probably only good enough for like January. The second level 15 player is Kai Wagner. He has high medium work rates, 2 star skill moves and a 3 star weak foot. And if I was to take this card, I would apply an anchor chem style. So onto the pros of this Wagner card. The first is his 94 pace, which is very good and goes up to 98 with an anchor. Then 90 crossing and 92 short passing, which is very good because he has high medium work rates. So he will actually be attacking a lot. 86 dribbling is actually incredibly well rounded. And then the final pro is his 96 jumping. Being 6 foot and 96 jumping, he shouldn't really be beaten at the back post. And moving on to the cons of this Wagner card, I'd have to say his 42 vision, which just sort of counters his 90 crossing, as 42 vision is absolutely abysmal. His defending is average. And then the last con is his 93 stamina. Now it may only be 6 less than 99, but those 6 points in stamina will make a massive difference, especially because he has high medium work rates, and I just see it as a massive con. The final level 15 player is Murillo. He has medium medium work rates, 4 star skill moves, and a 3 star weak foot. And if I was to take this card, I would apply a marksman chem style. And onto the pros of this Murillo card, I'd have to say his 95 pace, which is very good. He has 92 shot power, which just means that you should be able to score from long shots far easier. 93 free kick accuracy, and he does actually have the power free kick trait, which is actually very nice. 99 agility. And then he has 4 star skill moves. And onto the cons of this Murillo card. I'd have to say his 74 long passing. Which for a winger just isn't very good. 81 reactions and 80 composure. Just means that defenders are more likely to win the ball back first. And composure being at 80. It just really isn't good enough for this stage of the game. Then his 80 jumping, for someone who's 5 foot 10, he definitely should have better jumping, which is why I recommended the marksman. Then his 
three star wheat foot just isn't good enough at this stage of the game and then medium medium work rates I don't really need to say much more so who do I recommend taking from level 15 for season 6 now for me I would personally recommend taking Kai Wagner from level 15 but ultimately I don't think a single one of these cards is actually good enough for me they're all just fodder we're now in team of the season and we're going to be getting weekly objective cards for team of the season the first two being Parejo and Junior and them to absolutely spank these cards these cards have to be 90 rated just to actually be in line with what's actually in the game at this stage I don't know who's in charge of storyline cards but I'm really hoping that next year they're just improved massively because it's just embarrassing at this stage we shouldn't be getting an 86 rated card I know they're free but when you look at what's in line I don't know who EA are aiming these cards at I feel like I'm a broken record I'm pretty sure I've said this for the past two seasons but I would like to know what you think about this and what rating you think level 15 cards should be because for me these just are not good enough I'd like to thank you all for watching this video if you did enjoy it drop a like why not check out the video on the screen right now hit that subscribe button to not miss out on any FIFA 22 content but for now I'll see you in the next one